Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. How you guys are doing? It's your girl, the Real True Divine Feminine here. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for visiting. I come with a quick little message. This message is for my ladies. Um, You have someone that you used to be friends with that is watching you very, very heavily. This person... You didn't do anything to this person. This person wants to be you so bad. This person stalking you, praying on your downfall, hoping and praying that you fail because you do not want to be re-friends with this person. This person has talked about you so bad, has spread all kind of vicious lies and stuff on you when the lies and stuff that they spread it was really about themselves. But this person has said so much of stuff about you trying to drag your name so much inside the mud. Until it, until it did not make any sense. This person was talking about you like a dog. You hear me? And now, this, and now, you found out about it, or you have a knowing of it, or something, and you don't want to be friends with this person. This person is very upset because this person wants to come back and be friends with you. After they put their mouth on you, after they said all kind of vicious things about you, this person wants to come back and try to be your friend. And you're not willing to be friends with this person. So this person is very upset and mad because you don't want to be friends with them. And uh, this person is stalking you heavy. When I tell you heavy, heavy, heavy watching you. Heavy, heavy trying to be like you. Heavy, heavy, heavy trying to do everything that you are doing. It's just it's just a lot going on that this person is trying to do. This person it, it, under no circumstances wants you to win um at all and this is sad this is sad because this person has been all over your house around your family and everything i keep telling y'all to be careful of the company you keep and be careful of everyone that's saying hey sis hey hey this hey that you know what i'm saying everybody that's calling your name this person is stalking you when i say heavy heavy watching you thumbs and down your pictures screenshotting your pictures sending pictures to your op just doing all kind of stuff because they are so jealous and so intimidated by you because this person wants to be you so bad. Like, it, it's not, it does not make any sense to me in this world to try to be nobody else but be yourself. Like, it's nobody can do the things that you can do. And people are seeing that. Like, everybody's seeing how this person has talked about you. Everybody's seeing how jealous this person is of you. Then the crazy part about it is this person that's putting their mouth on you so bad. This person and their mama staying in somebody else's house, sleeping on somebody else's couch. This person cannot stand on their own two feet. This person is codependent on other people. This person has not had nothing. This person is used to selling their soul to get what they need and used to working and getting your money for what you need. This person is mad because they can't borrow no money from you and not pay it back anymore. Like, it's just a lot of stuff that's going on. And I feel like y'all need to be aware of it because, like I said, this person is going under to no extreme to try to destroy your character, to destroy your, your motherhood, to just destroy you as a person, period. All because of jealous and envious and because they cannot be you and they cannot walk inside of your shoes. And to me, that is crazy to want to be somebody, to be fascinated with somebody that much. Like if you had somebody in your life and they want to be your friend or whatever it is that they want to be, you didn't appreciate them and they let you go, then go ahead and leave. There's no bad blood or nothing. It's just that the season was up. Well, this person is not that because this person wants to be you. This person understand, don't understand why you blessed the way you blessed. This person don't understand why everybody love you so much. This person don't understand why you get all the things you get to do. This person feel like this is not fair. I don't know if this person is a friend, a family member, or whatever. All I know is this person is a female, and they big mad. I'm talking about super duper mad because you you. Super duper mad because everybody loves you. Super duper mad because you're one within yourself. Super duper mad that you're honest within yourself. And, you know, a lot of people, they don't want to be honest with themselves when they're going through trials and tribulations and storms and all the rest of that. They're not willing to say, hey, maybe I need to take some time and work upon me. They're not willing to say any of that. You know what I'm saying? But they see how you always be willing to say, you know, hey, I need to work on this and I need to heal from this and I need to heal for that. And they don't like that. These people don't like your strength. That's what it is. These people don't like your strength. They don't like how strong you are. They don't like the things that you do. They don't like um, how you move. They don't like that you're one within yourself. They don't like any of that. But this is a problem that this person or these people, whoever these females is, this is a problem that they need to seek within their self. You see, 
it's okay for you to want something for someone, but if they don't want it for themselves, that's on them. You cannot help nobody heal who who wants to be hurt. This person wants to be hurt. This person wants to be codependent on somebody else. This person wants to sell their soul. And this person also wants to be you. But this person know in order to be you or even be half of you, this person has to accept some things, some things that they're not willing to accept. So, you know, I just want to warn y'all, you know, it's always a snake among y'all. You already know. It's always a snake. You're not crazy. You're not stupid. You know, trust your intuition at all times. You know, so much is given, much is required, and that's why they mad. You know, they mad because they can't stop your flow. They can't stop your shine. So, baby, whoever this message is for, keep doing you. Keep pressing for it. No matter what them haters say, how they say it, why they say it, you just keep continuing to be in you. Continue to walk with your head held high like you do. Continue to talk your stuff. Continue to be the best version of you. You heard me? Not trying to be nobody else. Not trying to plea bargain with nobody. Not trying to do anything. Just be you, you know, because at the end of the day, God is going to always bless you for being true and honest to you. You know, not trying to be nobody else. Not trying to stir up no mess, gossip, and drama in nobody else's life. Not trying to make nobody else fall because you you can't get ahead. You know, people these days, they're just wicked. They're evil. They cutthroat. They conniving. And that's what it is. And you got to accept people for who they are. If somebody show you who they are, you got to accept them for who they are and just let it go. Like, look, I accept you. I accept you a fool. I accept you a dog. You, I accept you cut throat and conniving. I accept you a thief. I accept you a liar. I accept all that. I just don't fool with you. And they have to be willing to allow you to go that you don't fool with them. And that's that. Nobody can't change your opinion about how you feel about somebody. If somebody showed you something, we all have opinions. And all our opinions matter. I mean, my opinion might not matter in your life, but my opinion matters in my life. And if and if it's somebody in my life that I cut off, the baby, I'm not spending a bin on nothing. I don't care. We've been friends since 1980. You heard me? That don't hold no weight nowhere. And that's what people fail to realize. People be wanting to hold weight in your life who don't hold weight in your life, who's not made to hold no weight in your life. And then they get upset, they get mad and disappointed. They brought it up on themselves. You know, you give everybody the cards and they play the cards how they want the cards to be played. You give them a rope and they hang their own self. And then once you gain the strength to not cut them off, not deal with them, then they mad. They want to start throwing third on your name. They want to start doing all this petty stuff and all this stuff to try to make you look bad. But guess what? You know what I'm saying? This person is miserable because this person watching you, but you ain't got no care in the world worried about this person. But this person is so hooked and fixed on you and fixed on destroying you. But you just keep pressing for it and just allow karma to eat them up. Point blank and period. Because what goes around comes around. Whatever goes up must fall down. It's your girl, the real true divine feminine. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.